as we get set to turn them loose. Here they come. Green flag. There's Perna Siglio to the lead from the pole position. Quickly up on the outside. Comes at number 21. Joey Bailey goes to the second spot. Bailey into second. Perna Siglio continues to lead. Coot. Dylan Kutu runs third, but here's Joey Bailey down on the inside of Mike Pernasiglio, and he takes the lead away. Bailey out in front in the number 21. Pernasiglio now under attack from Dylan Kutu. Kutu in that 53 has got a good run going, and Jake Trainer has broken out to the fourth spot in the number 29. Then Randy Cabral and Kyle Valeri working it out for the fifth spot. But it's all Joey Bailey out in front. Bailey now by a half a straightaway as he continues to drive away. Mike Pernasiglio in second, Dylan Kutu third, and now they'll begin to feel the heat from Jake Trainer. Trainer in the number 29. On the back bumper of Dylan Kutu in the race for third. Here's Trainer keeping it low out of turn four, and he's able to make the pass on Kutu to take over third. Meanwhile, the leader has checked out. Joey Bailey's got a straightaway on Mike Pernasiglio who is about to lose the second spot and does to Jake Trainer in the 29. Trainer gets around Pernasiglio, goes to second. Trouble for Bradley Osgood on the front stretch. They got a new one tonight and it's looking pretty good as they come for the green flag. Green flag, they are underway. Bailey goes back to the lead, this time being chased by Jake Trainer. Trainer in the 29, trying to get around the 28 of Mike Pernasiglio. And trouble for Pernasiglio, waving his hand outside the car. Trouble for that number 28. He'd like to be able to duck down to the infield as he is slow on the backstretch. And that'll bring out the caution. And Avery Store outside of him in the number 10. Set for the restart with nine laps complete. Here they come. Green flag. Trainer trying to get the jump at the start. Joey Bailey keeps his foot in it. Down the back stretch. They're side by side. Classic battle for the lead. Bailey on the inside. Trainer on the outside. Trainer washes up the racetrack. Opens the bottom. As Bailey got up a little high and Trainer went with him. Trainer, meanwhile, needs to pull ba in behind Bailey. Bailey holds him off, at least for the moment. And Bailey opens up a comfortable lead once again. Got four car lengths over Jake Trainer right now. Dylan Kutu continues to run third. Avery Storr is fourth. Richie Coy is fifth as they come to the cross flags. Halfway through the 25 lap, Nima Light feature. Randy Cabral has gotten back around Kyle Valeri to take over the sixth spot, although Valeri trying to fight back on the outside in that number 17. That's a great battle for sixth. Meanwhile, Joey Bailey continues to extend that lead. He's picked up a car length or two over Jake Trainer. He and Trainer have checked out on the rest of the field. Dylan Kutu with a great run going in the third spot. Avery Storr starting to close on him 
in that number 10. It's been all Joey Bailey out in front in the number 20. I should say the 21. He's driving the number 20 in the NEMA midgets later tonight. But right now, he's in the Mike Scravani number 21 and leading this thing. Jake Trainer is second. Dylan Gutu is third. The 10 of Avery Storr is fourth. And actually not gaining on Kutu like he was just a couple of laps ago. Leaders about to get into some lap traffic. Passing flag is out for the back markers. And now Bailey's got to pick his way through. Lap cars yield to the leader. Stay down on the bottom of the racetrack. And Bailey's able to work his way around the outside as is trainer. So the lap cars do not hinder the lead of Joey Bailey. Trainer mounting a charge, trying to come back. Trainer himself was involved in a crash, got into the wall at Star Speedway just a couple of weeks ago. Now the two cars that ended up on the hook at the last race are battling for the lead. Bailey out in front. And Trainer trying to reel him in, but time is running out. One lap to go. Here's that battle for third. And Avery Storr able to get around Dylan Kutu to take over the third spot. But we're coming to the checkered flag. Joey Bailey will win his first. Jake Trainer for second. Avery Storr third. Dylan Kutu fourth. Fifth will go to the 17 of Kyle Valeri, then really tur turned his luck around. Joey Bailey, congratulations to you on a big win finally in the NEMA life. Oh yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time coming and I tell you what a difference two weeks makes. Uh, two weeks ago we were in the trees at Star and two weeks ago this car was in Wisconsin. Mike and uh, the crew went and picked it up uh, about a week ago and We've been thrashing with it. We weren't sure it was going to get ready in time, but my goodness, hats off. Uh, we've been close. We've been close the last uh, pretty much all year, and, man, it feels so good to finally give one to Mike. Well, uh, whatever uh, whatever they did with putting this car together, they did it right. I know they spent a lot of late nights getting it together for you, and uh, what a job by Mike Scravani and the crew. Oh, they're the, they're the best crew in the business. There's a reason why the Scravani family is so legendary up in the Northeast, and, uh, Man, this, today was a tough day. Uh, you know, we had uh, the viewing for Bob Evans. I'm a no, uh, really good friend of mine from the Boyd team uh, in the TQs, uh, lost his life a couple weeks ago. So uh, I know he was looking down on me today. And, uh, man, this, this is special in so many ways. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Uh, we're going to end the year strong here.